Good after morning, it is Wednesday, my dude, which means it's time for another buyer's guard. So, okay, first things first, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, this is what the GPU section looks like. No, nobody wants this. This is horrible. This is actually horrible. So let me explain to everybody what's going on so that you guys can understand. There's a problem with the supply of materials to make the gpus this is a problem with the supply of silicon that people can actually make the physical die that the processor goes onto can't happen right now in the way that it needs to happen plus demand spike from mining that is now dropping off wait a few months and you're going to be able to take advantage of that not only on second hand card sales but on new card sales this is exactly what happened in 2018 Six months of absolute insanity, everybody climbing over everybody else to get a GPUs, to get at this money-making opportunity that's Bitcoin farming, or Ethereum and Lithium and a whole bunch of other coins. There's a variety of them that make good money, and they still make money now, but considerably less uh, than com compared to what they used to. Because old musky boy did a pump and dump on us where he bought 1.5 billion dollars worth of bitcoin and then sold when he had made 200 billion and manipulated the market and claimed that uh, it's bad for the environment which he would have known from the start i don't believe a single word that he said on that so yeah thank you musk thank you metalworking industry for having your strikes and all of that sort of stuff and not looking after your employees appreciate you and uh, i feel massively sorry for all of the manufacturers and everybody that's being affected by this in the chain and as the buyers and the purchasers and the, as the audience for this product please guys you have to be patient there's no situation in which the store doesn't want to be able to sell you a gpu i hope that's made clear so moving forward into the top 10 at number 10 i'm throwing in the kratos e100 600 watt power supply Three year local warranty, three years for 699 bucks. Come here, 600 watt with 80 plus efficiency. So, if you were to have like a 1650 super kind of level system with a six core processor of about 65 watt TDP, this will actually only be half utilized by that. You could put up to 1660 Ti on the setup, albeit then you're approaching the limitations. That would be the very edge of the cliff that you would want to walk up to. You'll be on the precipice of having a bad time. At number nine, I had to throw in some monster audio products. I absolutely love this brand. The bang for buck is incredibly good. And these are a bit like premium A-links that they do. I did do a review on these and they're absolutely fantastic. Audio quality is out of this world. All sort of touch motions and stuff you can do, like swapping up is volume, swapping forward is to uh, skip track. And they, they both have touch surfaces on each ear cup they look freaking awesome they fit in the ear like amazingly well they charge up really quickly and did i mention that they have like with this container like a hundred and something hours worth of battery life i'm sure they'll quote it yeah and it's very accurate because i used it like extensively for like a week or for one charge and just carried on i mean absolute mad lads price first performance on monster every rand spent is going to be a good time at number eight i had to throw in the best budget tile cooler that's on the etec store if you've got a six core eight core processor this will work very very well for that if you've got like an older quad core or something like that and you want to just give it some spring in its step and pep it up a little bit then i would highly suggest you get one of these we put one on a mate 7700k and it now runs at like 50 degrees during gaming so yeah uh, when i go to his house next i'm going to overclock its face off look at the size of the thing direct contact from the heat pipes as well is really nice to have it does have a horrible clip system for the amd i know i know but it works um they're not the the i i know people don't like it that much but it works everything works on the cooler and uh at 550 bucks with a three-year warranty i believe and take mad lads at number seven i'm throwing in the hick vision 1080p 60fps webcam it's a great webcam used it extensively there is a review of me actually using the product like in different lighting environments with and without my lights everything i cover absolutely everything in that review so you guys can go and have a look at that if you want to see more but trust me i've had this next to webcams that cost twice as much with the same spec and this thing's an absolute champ at 599 rand running on the top off at number six this little deadly call my eye it's ax3000 wi-fi 6 so it's got just a little bit of bandwidth as you'll see over here 
up to 2,402 megabits over Wi-Fi. If you're keeping track, gigabit land was past 1,400 megabits ago. I've been using Wi-Fi, AC Wi-Fi now on my main rig and in my home setup and literally it's one ping difference. I can imagine this is basically no ping difference because it's so fast. This thing can do everything. It's got beamforming, you can stream 4K, I mean name it this thing will do it it's quite a quite a hefty lad and uh with the setup that, and everything that tp link has now inside the router they are much much nicer to use it doesn't look like a old uh, dejected windows xp program it's much more modernized breaking into the top half at number five i had to throw in the kraken this is pretty much the best 360 mil rad you can buy in the world right now this thing's an absolute beast it's just it's just incredible from the fans to the pump header to the quality of the product like ended xt knocked it out of the park with this one and now that you can get it at a discount with the cool mirror finish or the infinity mirror inside of the of the pump face there as well just meh. and number four it's last week's number one the cougar armor normally these are three triple nine so this at three four nine nine is basically a that level discount it's almost 15 percent discount that's quite a quite generous the only reason being is nobody wants to buy the poor green chair why don't you guys like green chairs go green and al gore will thank you at number three from the upgrade kits this one caught my eye 11 k yes 10 to 11 gen not much gains but the price here and performance because you're getting the z590 plus wafer i absolutely love these tough motherboards i've been working with the from the x470 onwards and some of the intels as well and they're just the way they set up is just absolutely fantastic 11600k is going to clock like an absolute monster the clev bolt x is the good stuff it's the 3200 megahertz which is always the always the one to go for of price first performance this little 120 mil rad is a champion it really pumps hard it works hard it's always done a good job no matter what i've put underneath it i haven't tested it specifically with this processor but i'd say you're probably going to hit the ends of your boost most of the time the 35 degree heat summer yes it's going to depend on your case and a couple of other factors but if it's if you've got good ventilation and you've got a push pull setup on that 120 mil you're going to have a good time and did i mention that this board has wi-fi have you seen the port layout on this board i hope there's a picture of it actually there we go this is why i love the tough display and hdmi so if you want to convert it later to like a media pc because it's got the wi-fi 6 then you can you've got to well to enable that even further you've got a proper 7.1 channel surround sound card with optical out so you can go straight into a high-end home theater system from here you do have your usb 3.2s usb uh, uh, actually yeah these are 3.2s these are 3.1s and these are threes funnily enough those are not usb 2s those are threes it also comes with a ps2 board so if you want to do some overclocking then you've got a guaranteed bios interrupt which is obviously nice to have type c thrown in there 2.5 gigahertz lan like these were really well thought out the reason i just absolutely love aces so this bundle for this kind of price with a three-year local warranty highly suggested at number two dell dropped the price on their s series 24. this one in particular caught my eye because if i'm not mistaken this is still on a tn panel which is really good for your response time so if you're looking at like an esports ready kind of gaming setup or something that's esports level this is the one i suggest because of that tn panel the vas and the IPSs tend to be a little bit slower than the tn this thing has also got a 350 cdm squared brightness which is which is a lot that's going to be retina burning 144 hertz of course because without that why are we even having the discussion and this has a periscope neck as you can see so you're going to be able to get a much better seating position with this guy as well that's why right now this is my pick of the 144s l3 year warranty and finally my number one deal of the week is something i haven't tested but I'm actually i've literally sent it to the evtech boys now because i'm going to test this one because this thing looks really promising pixel 3389 optical sensor their own switch which i would like to test but the positioning the thumb buttons the shape the weight everything on this checks all the right boxes for me it's very similar to the sensei 10 it won't have the true move pro which is why i don't think i'll like it more because that sensor is like insane but the 3389 is still a really good sensor i use it uh, in my daily driver which is my glorious model o and it is quite a nice sensor 50g acceleration 
450 IPS simple doesn't move that quickly the Proceus player uh, not even uh, well, Woxek with his 3000 DPI moves that quickly that's, that's fast and it's got like some interesting adjustable systems in it so I'm very curious to see what it can do but the dimensions and the spec and everything at this kind of price point is really really good Anywho, that is all I have for you in today's bias guide. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit us up with a like and subscribe. And I will see you on the flip side. Make it a swing. Whoa, leave it on the